This might just be the most 200 IQ roof push we've ever witnessed. Hey guys and welcome to your daily dose of Warzone 2 highlights. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clip using the link in the description. Let's get into it. This is a great tip for pushing a zip with Betty's at the top. Instead of exiting the zip and getting hit by the Betty, Reed Boy drops back down, waits for it to explode and then reattaches to the zip. Your that works. So. This is the nastiest two piece and nastiest world star I think we've seen in ages. Nice. Oh nice. my god. Yeah, bro. Oh, 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 <laughs> a snipe so far, the enemy is a mere dot. Oh no, a mortar strike. Wait, did I down that guy? Bro, bro, bro. They were so far away. Yeah. Over 720 meters. Big Gucci is back in the game, and the game is not happy about it. You've got reinforcements inbound. Heads up, they'll break his neck. Finally. So the office caught on TikTok has shown early footage of the unreleased The Boys Operate a Firecracker. They seem to have actually added jiggle physics to her skin, which is outrageous. Firecracker is one of two new The Boys Operators being added to COD. The second is A-Train. Austin Six has shared footage of her selfie finisher that sees her take out her phone before finishing off her enemies. There's a version of the execution for standing and prone players. Footage of the selfie execution seems to be drawing some criticism criticism from players who claims it's not very Warzone. Given they've just added a rubber duck skin, I'm not really sure what Warzone even is anymore. So will you be picking up Firecracker when she releases? Don't walk up to it and then press X, right? You want to jump and then press X and then just before you get to the top, bro, run about here, press jump again, right? Jump. You see that? You see how like you get sent off it? Now, if you time it perfectly, you can jump early enough and you'll just like, you'll just go straight in. That was actually a bad example, but you can do it really, really well. Like when I'm warmed up, I can do it really well. Do that and then like jump and you just go straight in. Do you know what I'm saying? Or if I've got time, I haven't got time. You can jump, do that, jump, and then like jump again on the roof. That's, that's, that's literally it. And here's look, here's good, putting it into practice in the most disgusting way possible. You got him, coach. Clip it. The zip boost can be particularly lethal if you're sniping. Oh. Get off, please. Neo's got the knock on the roof, but his friends are backing him up. Time to take advantage of the zip boost. So many questions, but mainly, how did the car not run over metaphor? This is a 200 IQ way to chow with vehicles. That guy was so 
unbelievably lost. <laughs> Holy Throwing a cluster mine into your knock teammates' bodies for when the enemies push is pretty genius. What's fuck, Yellow? What's fuck, Oh, I hit a bush. Yeah. Um. I shouldn't have ego chat that guy with no HP. <laughs> you got too excited. He got too happy. He finally killed me. No way. This poor enemy has just dropped back in from the gulag and is about to start his regain. Enemies dropping. <laughs> Never mind. See you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. You got the spray. Oh, there's a guy, and I let it. Oh, would someone clip that? Bro, Bob, what did you do to that guy? I didn't do anything. Like, I, bro, I. This poor enemy is so lost by Zyro's door play that this looks like something out of a comedy. No way, bro. I run out of bullets, man. Stay sharp. Good bro. Good kill. Five chill has no chill when he single-handedly wipes this four man. And check out the ego chal on the last guy. The amount of times Kid Splurge brought it back from the brink to pull off this crazy 1v4 was insane. No way! No manches. Eso va a tu trayar, Name a better feeling in card than a teabag revenge. It's literally unbeatable. Move it here. Stop it. Get some help. Time to return the favor. Who's laughing now? Now, what's that phrase about playing with food? The pull em yacht post nerf is still one of the best long range full auto options, especially on the big map. Can we please play Wait, together? Pushing, pushing, pushing. Nat squad are all up with seven enemies remaining. Wait, you're on oh, the ammo. Whoa. Whoa. How the hell is that? What the fuck? I have one E in the water. Oh, no. I'm actually not getting any Wait, I actually have no air ammo, wow. Oh, nice. The one kid in the water, I think I'll actually kill him. Yeah, in the water. I'm running at him with a swarm. The and water I gotta is they so are. glitchy, bro. Nah, he's doing the glitch. He knows the smoke glitch, be careful. Blend it in. Right the only trade off is that damn reload time. Shit, I couldn't challenge. He, did, he threw the fucking smoke and swam under it, bro. One shot? He's insane, twisted. He's actually exploding. Give me back, give me back, give me back.
PAs also double up as binoculars so that you can work out where the enemies are and where best to call in your PA for maximum effect. Meanwhile, over in Plunder, Horde Hippie is about to pull off the nastiest throwing knife. Clip that shit, that was fucking nuts, dude. Valla, billa, mor bi takdiri de alırım ha. Jobranjo is currently last alive in this game of ranked where he's in a 1v1v2. Either I'm deck small. Hey. Wait, I just don't have a cape, please. Dust him. With that enemy wiped and his teammate dropping back in, it's now a 2v2. Wo hast du dann die Leute aus? Heute auch nicht. Wow, wow! Oh my day! I don't speak French, but these sounded like angry French words. So. Defending a nuke bomb site as a squad is tough. I've got nothing but respect for those who can do it solo. And Rational is the first player in NA to drop a solo nuke. Here's how it played out. Oh my god. Oh! No fucking way! Oh, let's go! Let's fucking go, dude! Let's go! Woo! No fucking way! Let's fucking go, dude! Rooftop of dreams for Kid Splurge, rooftop of nightmares for the enemies. Just think, if he didn't stop for that self-revive. So anyway, he just started knifing. Red's making a wide rotation in the gas. For this dude. He's not showing up anymore. With 17k in his pocket, he's playing towards the buy station while keeping an eye out for either of the two remaining enemies. Same guy from earlier. Gas is closing in. One one request. Beautiful.
Zakarovich is hitting some clean snipes today. And he's not the only one. <laughs> Enemies dropping into the AO. I just gotta collapse, bro. Micah has just lost two of his squad as they were rotating into the final circle. But with a conveniently timed water taxi, he seizes an opportunity to buy his boys back. And while on board, he manages to get his hands on a durable gas mask, a mortar strike, and an airstrike. Huge update out of the Warzone space program. We've moved to manned space missions. Focus armor. The HRM-9 is quickly becoming one of the most popular SMGs. Empathic's running double SMGs on Vondel with the HRM and the WSP. Keep in mind Empathic plays on mouse so no aim assist. That just makes these close range engagements so much more impressive. I mean, should I get my shit there, man? Play up top? Like, you and them talk to you with me? Y'all weird as fuck. Shut the fuck. I don't trust this place. Thank you. Squad mates back on station. Alright. You little candy. I need one for more, though. Yo. Oh. Alright. Oh my god. Wait, two of them. Damn! I got Oxygen's mic didn't record, but he subtitled his voice below. What's that? Fuck, let's check my hair. This is why people have trust issues. Uh, well, you fucking <laughs> 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 